Hi everybody, it's Ian from snip to it Today I'm going to show you how to add a stitch line to any shape in Cricut Design Space. No dies, no manually adding dashes, nothing complicated. If you've been following me for a while, you might remember I shared this hack a few months ago, and then Cricut updated Design Space and basically broke it. But I found a new workaround, and I'm so excited because this means the stitch line hack is officially back. I've tested it in both the live and beta versions, so no matter what you're running, you're good to go. And hey, if they break it again, I'll show you another way to make stitch lines in outside software. But for now, let's roll with this version. So here's a quick overview of the steps we're going to take to create our stitch line. First, we're going to create an offset of the design. Then, we're going to convert the offset to a score line. And then finally, we're going to convert that score line to a cut file. Once you've done it once, you'll be able to use it on anything. To start, pick your shape, image, or text. To show you how flexible this technique is, I'm going to use this butterfly image from the Design Space Library. It's got all these little curves and cutouts, so you'll really see how unique the stitch line ends up. Select your image, then click Offset, and make an inset or negative offset. Either type in a negative number or slide the bar to the left. That new outline is going to be your stitch line. Just make sure you've left enough space between the inset and the edge of the image and that the lines around the cutouts don't overlap. For the next step, Select the offset shape, then open the operations menu and change the operation to score. That score line is going to become your stitch line. The dashes are what we're going to turn into a cut file. Cricut recently changed how score lines appear on the canvas in both the live version and the beta version of Design Space, and that broke my original stitch line hack. What do I mean by breaking it? Score lines in Design Space are dynamic. That means the number of dashes in the line changes depending on how zoomed in or out you are. In the old version, the default dashes were longer and spaced out nicely, which allowed for a ton of options when adjusting dash size. When you zoomed in, you'd see more dashes, and it was simple to make a clean cut file based on those dashes. Now, the default score line is made up of tiny little dashes that are densely packed, which has severely limited how much you can adjust the dashes and still create a decent cut file. Luckily for us, the Design Space developers didn't mess with the score line off the canvas, so that's where we find our new solution. Once you go into the map preview, the score line reverts back to that older, better version. That's our workaround. So, when your score line is added to the canvas, click the Make button. You'll go to the Matte Preview screen, and the score line will be all by itself on the white mat. You'll notice it looks totally different now. This is the version we want to use. The score line is still dynamic in the Matte Preview. If you zoom out, you'll see fewer, bigger dashes. If you zoom in, you'll get more dashes closer together. Here's what that looks like when you complete a cut. These two triangles have stitch lines created at different zoom levels. The one on the left was zoomed in at 125% when the dash line was captured, and the one on the right at 250%. You can see how much smaller and tighter the stitches look when you zoom in. What you want to do is find that sweet spot. Enough dashes that it looks like a stitch line, but not so many that your Cricut struggles to cut them. In my butterfly example, you can see the stitches follow the outside shape really smoothly, even into the corners. There are also nice, clean dashes around the inside cutouts, but nothing overlapping or jammed too close together. Just one very important note. Make sure the entire score line is visible in the matte preview. Don't let part of it get cut off your screen. So normally the score line looks like a dash line in design space, but it ends up as a solid line when we use our machine. How are we going to use that score line to create a dash cut line for our project? We're going to take a screenshot of the score line in the map preview window and convert that image of a dashed line to a vector right in design space. The score line is already isolated, 
so just make sure there are no grid lines on the mat before you take your screenshot. To do this, just click off of your score line. On a Mac, you can take a screenshot by pressing the Shift key, the Command key, and the number 4 key at the same time. Click and drag your cursor across the screen where the score marks are. On my Mac, the screenshots are saved by default to the desktop. If you haven't made any specific changes to your system, that should be where your screenshots are saved as well. To take a screenshot on a Windows machine, press Shift plus the Windows key plus the S key at the same time to open the snipping tool. Click and drag your cursor across the screen where the score marks are. Once you're finished, Windows will show you a pop-up saying your screenshot is copied to the clipboard. Click on the preview image and the screenshot will show up in the snipping tool editor. Either right-click or click on the icon in the top right-hand corner to save the screenshot. Now that you've taken your screenshot, it's time to return to the canvas. Click the Upload icon in the Design panel. Click Upload Image and either drag and drop or browse to find your screenshot. Click Continue to go to the Background Remover. I get the best results with the Magic Wand under the Manual Tool selection rather than the Automatic Background Remover. Select the Magic Wand, then click anywhere in the white space around the dashed line. Click the Preview Single Layer toggle to check that you've removed the entire background. If the image looks good, click Apply and Continue. Select Single Layer in the Convert Upload screen and click Continue. You'll get the final preview of your dashed line as a cut file, then click Upload and it'll be added to the canvas. Your uploaded screenshot will come in at the wrong size. To fix that, copy the width or the height from the original score line then apply that dimension to the new uploaded image. Make sure the padlock icon is closed so it scales evenly. Now you can delete or hide the score line and align the new dashed cut line perfectly with your original shape. Your stitch line can now be cut, drawn, or debossed, or even foiled or engraved. If you want to cut your stitch line, I recommend adding an offset. Here are two examples showing why I prefer adding an offset. The first butterfly stitches have no offset. They are thinner and they don't stand out as much. This second butterfly has a stitch line with an offset, making the effect really easy to see, especially if this layer is mounted against a contrasting background. So select your dash cut line and open the offset tool. Add a small offset, like 0.01 or 0.015 inches just to make the stitches a little thicker. Now select the new offset layer and the original butterfly image layer, open the combine tool menu and click subtract. Now all your stitches are ready to cut and you can see how well these turned out for my butterfly. If you want to draw the stitch line instead, select the dash cut line and go to the Operation menu and select Pen under the Draw options. You could also deboss, engrave, or foil. Then select both layers and click Attach and you're ready to make. When you're working on smaller images, your stitch lines will look better when drawn with an extra fine tip pen. For example, these stitches were drawn with a regular fine point Cricut pen, while these stitches were drawn with an extra fine point pen. I definitely prefer the extra fine point pen for most lettering. So that's how you bring the stitch line hack back to life in Cricut Design Space. Whether you're cutting, drawing, or debossing, this trick adds a handmade touch to any project. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll add a stitch line as an operation in Design Space, but until then, we're perfectly capable of designing our own. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching and happy crafting!